तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन सोरों की करो विदाई Well, if you want some more proof that Hinduism is no less bloodthirsty and violent and Luciferian than the Jesuit cult of Islam, uh, here's some more proof for you. And here is also some more proof that if you insult Hindu deities or insult Hinduism uh, in, the, in a Hindu theocracy, you're going to get the same kind of reaction you'd get from any kind of Muslim over in Pakistan if you insult their, their uh, pedophile false prophet Muhammad. So here's some more proof on that. And just backing up what I'm saying, what I've been saying this whole time, there's no difference between Hinduism and Islam, just two sides of the same Jesuit Luciferian coin. This is on uh, DNA India. It says, Shanatan Shansta member arrested in Narendra Dabak. Oh, I'm probably not saying that name right. I'm not going to bother. Basically, it was a murder case. Uh, he brought the trial in the local court in Pune on Saturday. And this was back in 2016. But what's going on here? Well, there's basically this activist was criticizing Hindu black magic and some Hindus killed him for it. Yeah. No different than Islam. If you, if you criticize their uh, false prophet Muhammad. Check this out. So in the article it says, Dr. Varenda Twaid, the member of a Shanatan Shansta and Hindu... I can't, I'm not even good at pronouncing all this stuff, I'm not going to bother. Basically, this Hindu terrorist group was arrested in Mumbai on Friday in the Narendra murder case. The CBI has conducted raids in its residence earlier this month. He's a former ENT surgeon at JJ Hospital and has been in the CBI's lookout and was questioned for over an hour at the Panvel farmhouse in December 2015. He has been a Shansha Sadik for more than 15 years. I have no idea what that even is. Dr. Narendra Dolbakar is a staunch rationalist and anti-superstition activist. He was shot dead by unidentified assailants while on a morning walk in Pune on August uh, 20th, 2013. There was no breakthrough. There was no breakthrough for this cl for close to three years since the murder, uh, through members of the Shan Shanatan San how, how do we say it? Shanatan San we're not going to bother. We're being questioned on the case. Uh, he headed to the Maharashtra. Why, why do I even bother? Basically, he he, uh, he was pursued and enacted the anti-superstition and eradication of the black magic bill. The bill was opposed by some political parties for being anti-Hindu. However, four days after his murder, the government brought it into uh, force through the ordinance, and the bill was passed by legislature in December 2013. Basically, the bottom line is that he was killed for criticizing Hindu black magic by Hindus. He was uh, essentially killed for insulting Hinduism because, again, if you insult Hinduism under a Hindu theocracy, you get the same kind of reaction you get from any Muslim over in Pakistan for insulting their, their blasphemous false prophet Muhammad or their Arabian moon idol Allah, or his three daughters too, by the way, because Allah does actually have three daughters. But just hey, just keeps proving what I'm saying, that Hinduism is no different than Islam, no less terroristic and, and bloodthirsty and violent. So, and it also just keeps proving what I've been saying as well, that it falls under the category of Proverbs 8, verse 36, and John 8, 44, about these religions being death worship. In Hinduism, Islam, I mean, pretty much any false religion, Catholicism, the Jesuit order, uh, especially them. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, just keep proving my points. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.